What happens when two hard-working mums down tools and go on strike for four days, leaving their homes and children in the hands of their husbands? Which dad will cope best with the challenges mum has set? Will it be salesman Lee who never lifts a finger around the house? Or Essex boy Barry who does a great impression of looking busy? Our family advisor Anna Rabin will be watching to see if the dads can make light work of the challenges ahead. Dads often say, how hard can it be to take care of the kids in the house? Well, they're about to find out. First, let's meet the Warrens. <laughs> Lee and Claire have two children. George is five and toddler sister Madison is 18 months old. Mum Claire keeps the home and waits on her family hand and foot. While Dad Lee expects to be treated like a lord and has managed to go years without lifting a finger. I'd like him to change by helping me all in the house. You know, um, just be more self-sufficient, really. You can make your own cups of tea, um, run your own bath, you know, little things like that. I'll show you just how easy this job is compared to what I do. And uh, it's a doddle, so I'm going to enjoy my holiday. Before Claire leaves, she needs reassuring that Dad Lee will know how to look after the kids. Time to test Dad. What does George always take to bed? Oh, that's easy. He's a uh, dummy in his bit of cloth. <laughs> Which is called? It's Planky. Well done. What is Madison's favourite TV programme? Dora! Well done. What colour unit will George be going into at school in September? Oh. Oh, I know that one. Orange. Uh uh. Wrong. What is Madison's favourite song? Wheels on the bus. Well done. Yes! Wow, three out of four. Lee certainly knows his children, so why is Mum packing her bags? Dear Lee, I am going on strike. I'm tired of the housework, the washing, the cooking and the fetching, and now it's your turn. These are the Mums on Strike three golden rules. Do not forget them. No TV, no takeaways, no telephone calls to Mum, Linda. Have fun, darling. I love you, blondes. With Lee in charge, Claire's off for four days of pure pampering at Greenwood's Hotel Spa and Retreat. And there's another big surprise in store for Lee. Where has my car gone? Someone's nicked my car. Hi, Lee. Now you do it my way. I've got your car keys, so you'll be getting the bus. <laughs> the bus for Dad, five-star luxury for Mum. And whilst relaxing, she'll be able to watch his every move. Back home, Lee's making breakfast for his kids for the very first time ever. Yeah. Come up here, you can help me make the toast. <sighs> and he doesn't exactly know his way around the kitchen. Yeah. In where? No, no. Oh, they're in here. No, no. Oh, no, no. It's just show mummy how easy this is. There you go. Thank you. What now? I don't have to do. I don't know. I think you have to push that down. Hey, this is easy, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy. Easy. It's easy. So let's see how he'll cope with the first real challenge: shopping by bus. It's something Mum Claire has to do week in, week out. Oh, How's he supposed to get this up there? Then? I'm going to hold you fold this up. Oh God. Not in a hurry, are you? <laughs> yeah. Right, that's that bump. Oh, look, her dummy. Oh, God. Her dummy. Get that. Uh, we want to go to uh, High Street, please. Wherever the High Street is. Is that where that goes? Well done. Lee's safely on the bus. Now, that wasn't too painful, was it? Oh, I want my car back. Oh dear, this could be a long four days. Where are we going then? Come on in, let's go. More virgin territory for Lee, the weekly shopping. Good job Claire left the list. Potatoes. Yeah. Oh, they're tomatoes. But it sounds like he needs a map. Oh, she's a nightmare. I don't know where anything is. Right, let's find some uh, cheese. Tin of carrots. Hang on, let's just stop a minute because we're completely lost now. Right, chicken nuggets. What are they? Right, next. Time to get some help. Right, we're going to go that way. Excuse me. What's the difference between that and that? 
What is automatic washing liquid? What sort of potatoes do you need? Why are they all different? <laughs> I've never done this before. You wouldn't <laughs> guess. No, I can do that. <laughs> what a dud all this shopping like is. What a dud! Piece of cake. <laughs> Sure. Well done, but why not quit while you're ahead? Is that washing up washing liquid for washing machines? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you've got to have a ball with that. What? You could have to have a ball. What do you mean? <laughs> to fill the liquid. Oh, in. Don't start. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Something new out. <laughs> it's time to meet our second family, the Cockbills. The sociable Molly, who's five. Adorable Alfie, who's three. Dog loving Barry. And full time mum Wendy, whose days are filled cleaning up after three dogs, two kids, and one husband. More and more things. He's very good at making himself look busy. Um, he doesn't tend to get involved with the day to day running of the house and doesn't have much organisational skills with the children. I don't know what it's like to have two kids running around screaming when you're trying to cook dinner and you're trying to do the washing and hang the washing up and remember you've got washing in the washing machine and remember you've got the stuff in the oven which is burning and the... No, not at all. So what do you know? It's time to test Dad. What is the name of Molly's teacher when she goes back to school? I don't know. Uh, uh. Name a fruit or veg that Alfie likes. Potatoes. Right, what setting are delicates done on the washing machine? Delicates. G. Yeah! How much is Molly's next course of swimming lessons? £17. <laughs> oh dear, one out of four. No wonder Wendy's on her way. Dear Barry, I am going on strike. I cannot remember the last time I had a day off and I'm worn out emotionally and physically. By the way, Alfie has got a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. You got to have your hair cut at 11 o'clock. Love, Wendy. To help Barry focus better on his chores, Wendy has taken his music player to the spa with her. Oh, wow, very nice. And to compound the situation even more, Barry has been left a budget to last four days. £35. Is that, that must be just for today. Straight on with the first task, the haircut. Something Barry has failed at in the past. Last time I took him, he bawled his eyes out, didn't he? he started screaming and stamping his feet and everything, and I ended up having to take him out of his haircut. That time, Mum Wendy was on hand to bail him out, but now Barry is completely on his own. Which way? Up here, am oh. And he's cut it fine. Nearly there. We forgot to get a car ticket. So we're going to be late now, aren't we? Who, who forgot to tell me to get a ticket? Let's go, off. No? It's this one, out. Whoops. The moment of truth. Can Barry control the situation or will Alfie spit the dummy? But no need to worry, this barber has been here before. Look at yourself in the mirror, Alf. Who's in the mirror, mate? Look at yourself, that's Do you want to hold this brush for me? Do you want to hold it for me? You get an itchy, you brush it, you brush it, you do it yourself, that's it. Well done. Look at that big boy's haircut. Nine pounds, please. Nine pounds? That's a quarter of your budget. You got enough or have you got to sweep up? I think we might have to sweep up. Pain of man, that's a wicked haircut. There you go, let's change, don't forget your change. Coming up, Barry is duped by a five-year-old. It's a pipe. You little monkey, Molly, you know they're not yours. I'm going to beat the hooper up, George. And Lee has a serious domestic. <laughs> Hard-working mums Wendy and Claire are on strike. They've left their husbands at home to juggle the kids and chores while they chill at a luxury spa. Whilst they're relaxing, they are able to spy on their men, whatever they're up to. It's after lunch on day one in the Warren household, and everything is quiet. A little too quiet. Looking for sleep. Thank you, thank you. It's only 
only been half a day and already the house is a mess. Are you going to wash up then? Yeah, I am going to wash up. Go on then. Does Mummy clean up this well? What, this? Yeah, does she do it as well as we're doing it? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> You're absolutely right, son. I'm doing washing. You're washing. No, we're very good, aren't you? You're very good. One of the general household chores Claire does daily is the vacuuming. But her upright has been broken for some time. If Lee can't fix it, he'll have to use the handheld. And he's willing to try every trick in the book to avoid that. Can't be that hard to fix, surely. <laughs> he's a man. Surely he'll fix it with the screwdriver trick. The shaking trick. The blowing trick. Or maybe the poking trick. I think I might have found the problem. Right, it's going to work now. You watch. It's making all the right noises, but it's not picking up. Uh, There's only one thing for it. Right. Oh, no. Hey! No Hoover. What do I say? Help. It's 5.30 and the vacuuming with the handheld is taking an age. Maddie's afternoon nap has turned into a marathon three-hour sleep. And with the rest of the house still to do, the boys are going to have to work shifts. I think he cheated a bit with getting the kids to do the housework, so he's going to do that tomorrow. Um, but then, on the other hand, you do keep them occupied and they work money off and they won't just play on the PlayStation, so you've got them involved, which is really good. It's the end of a long first day. Dinner's over, George has put himself to bed, fully clothed, but after that three-hour nap, Maddie is raring to go. I'm absolutely knackered, uh, but it's been a good day. I've had um, a lot of first things I've never done before. I, um, I've never gone out on the bus. I have never, ever, ever gone shopping with them, and hopefully I'll never have to do it again, but it wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> Lee's biggest problem today has been sleep. He awarded himself a siesta, allowed Maddie a three-hour afternoon nap and let George put himself to bed fully dressed. Mistake. Kids need a routine that both Mum and Dad stick to. Lunch! It's the afternoon of day one and in the Cockbill household, things are less relaxed. Molly has invited a friend around for lunch and little Alfie is playing with his food. It's not a lifesaver, no. Let's <laughs> take your bread. No! Do you want me to make you another one? Just fold the bread right. Don't fold the bread right. You won't eat it. You have to have the bread folded perfectly in half like a proper sandwich, otherwise you won't eat it, apparently. Here you are. Sounds like you're being stitched up to me. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. How's that? What off? <laughs> what, cut the crusts off? Just eat a bit of bread. Mummy obviously cuts the crust off. I bet she won't eat still anyway. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> oh well. I'll learn from tomorrow. Oh bless him. That's Barry wrapped round Alfie's little finger. I don't know, I've never seen it before. And sensing open season on Dad, Molly moves in for the kill. It's pain. Take it outside then. The mole They're not drawers. Molly's. We've got some she knows that. You're going to help me take it out? I'll be... oh, look. Let's take it out. That's a birthday present. Dad! She's daddy drawer as well. You little monkey, Molly. You know they're not yours. OK. No wonder she's grinning from ear to ear. Yeah, daddy, it's it was green. supposed to be a birthday present, but now it's not. You are oh, I can't me. believe it. You are a real <laughs> cheeky. I don't believe what you... Your mother's going to kill me. Whoa, 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 whoa. With that amount of paint around, this could get really dangerous if Barry's not careful. Alfie, that's my paper! Daddy! Hey, listen, mate. Here we go. Hey. Whoa! Look. Pink and green, everything. Give me a big kiss. Mwah. Daddy loves you very much, all right? See you in the morning. Sweet dreams. Round one over. So how does Barry feel? This is only day one. Absolutely. 
there's two whole days to get through on this and I'm going to need a couple of days off work after this, I'm sure. Barry's allowed himself to be duped today. M most children open toys as soon as they buy them and the fact that the paints were in a box should have rung alarm bells. Other children's birthday presents are always tempting. Keep them out of reach. It's day two in the Warren household and Lee is getting the hang of the morning routine. Oh, Hello. Oh, she's Hello. got a big fat head. Oh, what? Mum Claire is sending a text. She has requested a fun day out with a picnic and homemade cakes. Can I make a picnic or what? So where are they? What about one of our homemade cakes? Yeah! Not only do I make mm, They don't look very homemade to me. They are. Oh, Daddy made them <laughs> and wrapped them up. Can't have another one. Yes, you can. They're not all yours. You can go throw some stones in the water. Yeah, come on then, Dad. Go on then. I'll take the new shoes off. Stony down here. Where's Maddie? Right. Come on in. Ah, 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 ah. Ow. She's by the water. Ow. Oh, Lee. Maddie, come here. God. Come here. Give me heart failure, you will. Picnic over. Time for the real fun. Oh, he's not taking him on that. <laughs> That's no, he'll be sick. Oh, Lee, no. Hey! Well, that's tied them out. Time to get home and tackle those household chores. And no sleeping this time, Lee. Got a plan, trampoline. He's never done the washing before and doesn't know quite what to expect. All right, let's go for black. That's black. Ugh. What the hell was that? We haven't got a cat. <laughs> yeah, but the washing's making funny noises. I don't know why. That's black. Oh, God, he's done it again. Stop doing that. I want to Yeah, I really want to go to sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Oh, find a life out of me, Eddie. Now we're going to work out how to do this machine first. Oh, what sweet! Sounds like George is just too tired to help. Good job, 18 month old Maddie is on hand for some washing tips. Switch the machine on, he's there. And that's off. What well, should we have, a long spin, short spin, or what do you think? Short. Long. Short. 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 Oh, well, H. Quick wash. Ah! We did it! We finished. That's it, it's done. Another easy peasy job. By 7.30, George has taken himself off to bed, and for the second night in a row, he's sleeping in his clothes. He's out again. Is he awake? George, you awake? Uh, I think we can take that as a no. Another first today on the washing machine. I'm very worried about that because it's still going. So I really don't think it should be going that long. So I might have made a mistake with that. I've done more in the last two days with the kids than she's ever done. And that's a fact. <laughs> because um, she's never taken down to the beach by herself or anything like that. So, But it is hard, you know, and I think I've done very well. And um, hope she can keep up with my standard. Fighting words, but what does Mum Claire think? You did well. It was just the last comments, um, and they've really hurt me, actually. Um, I do take the kids out, he knows that, and um, I had problems after George was born for going out and things, and I've really made that up in the past um, year and a half, two years, and I think that comment was below the belt. Lee's keen to score points. So let's remember that George has gone to bed in his clothes two nights running. However, the kids did have a lot of fun at the fair today and experimenting with a scary ride probably won't have done any harm in the long run. Here we are. Spider-Man's up. Day two in the Cockville house, the kids are up and Mum is sending instructions. Good morning, all of you. 
today your task is to make jam. You will have to pick your own strawberries and your cousin Taylor will be round at 10 o'clock to join you. Have fun, love you all, Wendy. You better not pick too many because it's going to break the budget. <laughs> Look how many strawberries they've got. <laughs> they are really nice. That cost him a fortune. I've got £9.99. Oh. 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 Blimey. Well, that's over half the budget spent. Why not blow some more cash? Who wants a burger? Me! OK. What do you want? Cheeseburger? That's cheating. Or hamburger? Cheeseburger, please. Cheeseburger. Here we go. Look at that. Look at those. Oh, that's naughty. Yes. No takeaways. It's not really a takeaway, because um, we're on the move, aren't we? So we haven't taken it away home to have a takeaway. We're taking it in the car and eating it as we go along. And that's not the only rule broken. Back home, Barry's got help. This is my mum, this is Sue, oh, and, and this is my dad. Uh, I bumped into them in the supermarket, actually. Um, so we'll all leave this up to my mum and see whether it all goes on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See, the task will still be done. Here Barry, that's we'll two sheets in a oh. day. No, not really. Can you squish yours? Ah. What? Nicely, don't Did splash they? it everywhere. Do you know what? Strawberry juice won't come out. I think we should have put something on the table. Quick, quick, in the cup. Wow, yeah, look at all oh, that. Have a pop. Yeah, yeah, need in, into the strawberries. Pour it in. Right. Try this, babes. Ready? Smell it, sniff it, lick it. Mm. If you like it, bite it. <laughs> How's that? Sugar. I think my little girl might like strawberry jam. What do you reckon? Like Do you like strawberry jam? Do you like strawberry jam? I think she does. Mm. Well, you'll be able to have that on the bread. Mwah. Daddy loves you very much, all right? Today I've really enjoyed it. The children have been absolutely... Oh, they've been beautiful today, they really have. They re I've really enjoyed the company. We'll see what's ahead of us tomorrow. I don't know what we've got to do, but we'll get on with it. Barry's a real rule breaker. He's bust the budget, bought the kids' takeaway and enlisted the help of his mum and dad in making jam. It is fun listening to his excuses, though. Let's just hope that with only a few pence left, he doesn't go on a spending spree tomorrow. Coming up, it's warfare in the Warrens. Stay at these windows. Mm -hmm. I had originally planned to uh, buy Claire a new hoover. I'm not going to bother. No, no, no. High drama at the Cockbills. And the mums come home to survey the damage. What's happened down there? Hard-working mums Wendy and Claire have gone on strike. They've left their husbands at home with the kids while they've been relaxing at a luxury spa. It's day three and Lee Warren is reaching the end of his tether. We've just had the um, worst night we've had so far. Both the children decided not to go to sleep. Four o'clock this morning was up. Great fun, wasn't it? It's time for the morning text, and Mum Claire piles on the pressure. Today's chore day, things you never do. We've got to <laughs> clean the windows inside. <laughs> well, all of them, there's loads of them. <laughs> Generally clean the house so it sparkles. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Well, I had to get this out of the shed because we don't have any glass cleaner in the kitchen cupboard. So what does that tell you then? The windows inside are regularly cleaned. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever. Because you never do them. Stay at these windows. I don't think they've ever been cleaned, ever. Mummy doesn't know how to do that, does she? So what other cleaning tips do you have for us? <laughs> Use the duster in the toilet. That's a new one. Just the sink over there to do, and that'll be it. The bathroom is cleaned. What do you reckon to that? Fantastic. From the toilet to the bath. And into the sink. Classy. 
It's safe to say mums around the country won't be taking lessons from you, Lee. Well, I had originally planned to uh, buy Claire a new Hoover, but after this disastrous stuff she's given me to do today, I'm not going to bother. Oh, no. Buy me a Hoover, you meanie. Best just get on with those chores. Yeah. Come on, you've got to change your bed cover. Are you going to do it? No, I'm not going to do it. And just when Lee thought it couldn't get any worse, George joins oh, his honey. mother on strike. George, get the washing out for me. I'm on my phone. <laughs> Thanks very much for your help. <laughs> Luckily, Maddie is still on side. Everything's going over the floor. I have to wash everything again here. If you do, maybe you could spin them next time. I'm no expert, but they look sopping wet to me. That's it, we're finished now, and I am well and truly finished. Not quite, Lee. A woman's work is never done. There's still meal time, bath time, and clearing up time. Today was unquestionably the worst day of the lot. It's been the hardest day I've had, and it's been a day that Claire would never, ever, ever do. That's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> There's no woman alive that would do that. Sorry, but there isn't. No way. So I don't feel any sympathy whatsoever, because she's still got a very cushy, easy job. It's morning of day three in the Cockbill home. We're up late and I think the kids don't seem to be very hungry, so we'll just chill it a little bit this morning then. That's a laid-back approach to breakfast, Barry. But obviously Alfie's favourite, chocolate biscuits. Alfie's got his chocolate biscuit that he's not even allowed. Barry is on top of his chores and is piloting the washing machine like a pro. G, everything's on G. Double go, treble go, everything go. But there's the small matter of a birthday present to replace. Time for a trip into town and a visit to the local toy shop. Because I haven't got any of these left, don't How good a girl would you be? I think they both deserve having a little something. Because we haven't bought them anything and it's the last day. And um, I think they deserve it. That's what you're getting because you're going to help clear up the garden. And Molly has found a birthday present for Rihanna and saved her opening it again and tricking her daddy, she's got one too. Buying those presents will certainly blow what's left of the budget. Time for the credit card. Back home, more housework, and it's time to clean out Buzz the gerbil. Alfie wants to help. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, catch him. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Barry, most mums agree you need eyes in the back of your head and a sixth sense. Something you seem to be developing quite nicely. It's all just got too much for Alfie. I'm tired, darling. I'm coming now, darling. Barry decides that it's time for dinner and an early bed. It's the end of an exhausting day. Good night, bud. Love you. I wouldn't swap over in a million years, not really. I, I enjoy my job, and hopefully what I can do is make Wendy enjoy her job a lot more. Because at the end of the day, it really is a job. You know, there's nine, it's not nine to five, it's all day long. It's a permanent job, it's a lifestyle. It's more than a job. The mums are packing up to leave the spa, but which dad cope best? Will it be Dad Lee who goes through the day, dirty the duster, but thought it was all such a doddle. It's both our house. They're both our children, so you've got to do more. Or will it be Essex boy Barry, who blew the budget, broke the rules, but bonded with his kids? If you like it, buy it. I think it's made me appreciate a lot more as well, you know, what a great family I do have.
And time for one last cheat. The secret weapon now, that is, will make it smell like I've been polishing. Strike over and Mum's crept home. Barry was a delight. He did everything with such enthusiasm, including breaking all the rules, which simply isn't allowed. Oh, who's that? Hello! Oh. Hi, Hi, so, do you think you deserve these back then? Yes, please. Thank you. Well, right, I'm going to watch Teddy now. It's all over to you. Make the tea. Off you go. Oh, God. Lee was a real joker. He did things his way, but he got them done and he kept the rules. That makes him my dad of the day. Right, this is a most improved dad award presented to Lee Warren. Congratulations as the Mums on Strike most improved dad. You have won a family day out at Chessington World Adventures. Yay! Yay!